Hey beauties, it's Kiana. Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a vlog style video and I am getting up on. I'm gonna take you guys with me to see what happens. I naturally have straight hair. It does have a little bit of a wave in it and I put product in it to make it straight. You guys haven't seen me in a while and I chopped off a lot of my hair. So when my hair was long, like I did not like it at all, but when it's short, I really like it curled. It doesn't have to be curly, but it's just like a preference of mine. And I really don't have time to curl my hair. So I was thinking that a perm would be a good idea. My mom gets a perm and we've been going to this hairstylist all of my life and pretty much all of my mom's as well. And she's always been doing her perms and I always go along and watch her and I just want a perm. <laughs> so I take really, really good care of my hair and I'm hoping that my perm will last like the eight months that it's like has a lifetime of lasting um if i don't like it i won't get another perm but i'm thinking i like it but yeah and i'll take you guys with me and i am literally so excited okay so i am headed to the hair salon my appointment's at 12 45 and it's 12 10 right now and we're heading from my grandpa's house so i'm so excited um i'll pretty much just like film bits and pieces of like what's happening to my hair and then i'll talk to you guys afterwards so you'll see a little bit of the process and you'll see the color rods that she's using in my hair and then we'll talk later and uh see what it looks like <laughs> All right, so it is the end of the night. After my perm, we went to Walmart and did a little bit of shopping. And so my perm has had time to dry. I have mascara everywhere. And I just wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about the process of how the perm went. I did not film a lot about the perm because I wanted this to be more of like me talking to you about it because there's so many videos on like just people getting their perm but then they don't talk about it so let's talk about it so this is the state of my hair right now carmel put some gel in my hair so i kind of have like crunchy ramen noodles going on right now but i'm afraid to like scrunch it because for the first 48 hours after you get a perm you're not allowed to wash it you're allowed to put a little bit of water in it but you're not allowed to do like literally anything to it. You can't put in any headbands because it will flatten those parts of the curls, no hair ties, because then you'll have that permanent kink in your hair from the hair tie. So I'm just like afraid to like crunch it because I don't want to mess anything up. So for the next 48 hours, my hair is going to look like ramen noodles until I can style it how I want to. Um, but right now it's pretty crunchy. And as far as the curls go, I think that it turned out fantastic like this is exactly what i was looking for i do have a couple curls where it's like curly here but then it's like kind of like a weird kink going on and then it gets like really curly at the end um i only have a couple of those so i don't know if that will go away after like i wash my hair in a couple days but i do have a couple of those so what happened is carmel rolled up all of my hair into rollers and she had to use 219 rollers because my hair is so thick and that's the only way that you can do it so she painfully rolled 219 curlers and it was so much work for her it took her two and a half hours to do and then she put a perming solution in my hair, which is what breaks all the bonds in your hair so that they form around the curling rod. And then after about 20 minutes or so, she put in a neutralizing solution. Um, and in between the two, she did put like a little bit of a treatment in my hair so that it made my hair look more fuller and more fresh. Um, and that's something that she recommended for my hair specifically. And then... Um, because of the type of curl that I wanted to achieve because I wanted my hair to be very, very curly and a little bit voluminous at the roots, but she kind of told me that that was like how I style it, not necessarily the perm. But then after she put the neutralizer in, I just kind of sat like that for a while and then she took out all the curling rods, rinsed my hair out, put me under a dryer and had the products in my hair and we let my hair dry for a little bit and then I was out the door. So it sounds fast by me talking about it, but it wasn't. 
It was two and a half hours and it was a lot of work for my hairdresser because my hair is so thick. She said usually it takes her about an hour, an hour and a half maybe for people with like normal hair, but my hair's not normal because it's so thick. And my hairdresser does perms very, very fast because she used to do them all the time when perms were in style and she knows exactly what she's doing. So honestly, like if I would have went anywhere else, she said that it would have been a lot, lot longer process. So two and a half hours is good for my hair. <laughs> I also want to talk about how she permed my hair. So she used mostly gray rods, white rods, and pink rods. Because my hair is so thick and I just have a lot of hair, one hair strand had from one to three curling rods. So like she would have like one rod here and then she would build it up with another rod and then like a last rod. Um, I'm not sure if it was more one rod strands versus three rod strands, but I just know that some strands had one, some strands had two, and some strands had three rods. And that's how she went about curling my hair, so that's why there were so many rods in my hair. Okay, so then my experience. Personally, I have a really sensitive scalp, so putting all the rollers in was very painful for me, and when I had to put my hair under the water for her to wash it with all the curlers on, that was so painful, and she said it's usually painful either way, like if you have a sensitive head or not, um, but my head is very sensitive. I hate my hair pulled. I can't leave my hair up in a ponytail for too long. Like, I just can't handle it. Um, so it was pretty painful um, for me, and that's just because I'm sensitive. <laughs> but now the game plan is that I'm going to wait 48 hours before I can wash my hair, and then I'll be able to style it how I want to. I have a curl cream, a deep conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, a gel and an oil that I can put in my hair. My best friend is a curly girl, so she took me to the store and helped me shop for curly products that I would need. So hopefully I have everything that I need. Um, eventually I wanna do a video on how I style my hair so that you guys can see like updates and like what I think about my perm after today. Cause like right now I love it, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure I'll still love it because I really like curly hair, but you never know, like things could change. So I'll update you guys on that and make a new video. But yeah, overall, Carmel did a great job. I love my perm. So if you guys want to check out Carmel's salon, her salon name is Carmel's Change of Pace in Mayville. And she does a wonderful job. She doesn't charge like ridiculous prices for what you're getting done. She charges it like how it is and she's a wonderful person to talk to and one of the sweetest people that my family knows. So I would definitely recommend her if you guys live in Wisconsin. Her salon is in Mayville and she does a wonderful job. Well, that is all I have for you guys for my experience of my perm. Eventually you guys will be getting updates. I love it, I'm glad I did it. And yeah, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye beauties.